the next slide, it sort of tells you another catch-22. We already knew one uh, catch-22. This is slightly different. Um, it's coming back from what a few slides we did uh, we did a couple of years ago, where we said, okay, normal normal uh, tax cycle is you for corporate income tax, you you have a transaction in the first year. Uh, you file the tax return the next year. You have an audit the year after, and may, you may have to, pour, to have to go to court uh, one or two or three or five years later. That means the cycle of corporate income tax has always been three years. So a lot of the, the global heads of tax we are talking to, um, they they think in that type of terminology. A three year cycle, so you know if we are a little bit late on uh, on filing a tax return, who cares it's an administrative fund they they're really not interested in tracking that each and every fat return or wages tax return or corporate income tax return is completed on time is filed on time and is paid on time they don't care which is kind of interesting, and maybe I was talking to the wrong generation, means my generation. Um, because in, in the old days, with a cycle of more than three years, that makes sense. Uh, there's always going to be something a little bit too late, so who cares? And uh, you will have a hundred bucks as an administrative fine to the left and to the right, who cares? Not really uh, uh, time to do micromanagement. Uh, because I'm the global head of tax, so I only do big things. Um, so now I, I tell you the world of today. The, the world of today is data. You treat the data upstream or downstream. The tax authorities monitor it, and um, the assessment is raised. And this is a process of less than three months. So should I be worried that I filed all the tax returns? Anyone? Should I might be worried to make an almost real-time assessment of my tax risks? Anyone? Let's let's assume I say I'm an old generation. I don't care because I've been running this for 40 years that way. And it's still an, I think still an administrative fee. Would I get away with that? Well, five big shots in, in, in the corporate industry said, oh, I think, yes, maybe. Some said maybe not. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the changes in different reporting packages, but that's already happening today. And so uh, I, I think the, the, um, the view is still, does the risk, the underlying material risk really change in terms of transpising risks you're running because this cycle goes much faster. Some people say the underlying material risk does not change. So why would I make all the noise uh, and the, the, the speed up the whole process and be fully, uh, fully locked into a compliance tracker and a tax monitor dashboard like this one? Um, so not everyone's convinced that this new world will also change the risk profile and they have a good grip themselves. They indicate to, to me about where the risks really are. So, And they pushed uh, for mostly very pragmatic and, and convincing arguments. They pushed all the local compliance to the local controllers, the local finance teams, and they don't want to know when these guys haven't done it. Although, uh, what, what my counter argument is, if, if tax runs this kind of short cycle, if that becomes a disruptive factor for running your business, so services cannot be invoiced because there's a pre-clearance by the tax authorities on a VAT return, or goods cannot enter the country because you didn't do your real-time customs return yet, and the, the disruption in the business in the business model becomes a big item for these guys. And if you're then not real time in terms of control, I think you have a, a problem. And that means your your data architecture needs to be 
yeah, pretty much up to date.